Okay, so this is a second example of a purposely introduced error in our electrically controlled, electrically sequenced hydraulic circuit. If I could draw your attention to limit switch two, which has been nefariously zip tied into its actuated state. Okay, so if we remember from our ladder logic diagram, uh, limit switch two, the top rung, is a normally open being held closed. A limit switch to the bottom, uh, excuse me, the second rung, is via the mechanical interlock, is a normally closed being held open. This does not change our start state of our system. So it should start as we'd expected. However, when our clamp cylinder extends, our normally open being held closed should open. And via the mechanical interlock, the normally closed switch being held open should close. That's not going to happen. Okay? So let's see if you can go ahead and figure out what's going to happen because I'm going to go ahead and press push button one and see what happen if what happens is what you suspect. So a different error this time. This time our clamp is extended all the way to limit switch one. Our presser has extended and retract, it retracted. However, our clamp is still in the extended position. All you gotta do to fix this guy is go over here and make sure that limit switch two is capable of reacting appropriately to the situation. Okay, so that is an example of a limit switch being held in an improper state. For example, a foreign object has fallen into it and it is again, maybe a functional limit switch, but it's incapable of sensing its environment and it's reacting appropriately according to the ladder logic diagram. It's just incapable of sensing its environment.